Speaking of other things to do, let's talk about some GPUs. AMD has uh, released the 6950 XT, the 6750 XT, and the 6650 XT, which, considering they are 50 cards, slot in between the other cards in their lineup. And there was one comment on, um, on this Gaming on Linux article, which was really dumb. Another paper release. I couldn't be less excited, except for the fact that you can literally buy them right now. But these are also um, first-party AMD cards. So if we go to the AMD website, we should be able to buy them directly from AMD. Uh, let's see. Here we go. AMD Direct. So this is the US store. And how much are... Okay, they're, they're out of stock on the... <laughs> they're out of stock on the, um, the, the AMD store. But I take back what I said. You can't buy them from AMD because they're out of stock. Uh, but you can buy them from uh from retailers so if we go to the uh, graphics card section 6950 xt is in australia two thousand dollars or seventeen fifty dollars depending on which one you buy i don't know why they are different this one i guess has a hundred megahertz more everything else is the same though would you pay two hundred dollars for a hundred megahertz? I wouldn't, but maybe someone's going to. But um, yeah, you can buy. It, assuming they are in stock, you can buy the cards directly from AMD, which is kind of neat. Uh, I haven't actually looked at what the performance is like relative to other cards, so I'm sure someone's gonna have ben uh, benchmarks out. Radeon benchmarks. If I just look that up, I should be able to find it. Um, I will go. Actually, we'll go sixty nine fifty XT because that should have all of them on the card or on the chart. You would think they would put all of them on the same chart, considering they came out all the same day. Uh, I would hope at least. So this is Tom's Hardware. Does Tom's Hardware have actual benchmarks on the site? That is the question. Or do I need to go to my favorite site, Guru Three D? This is not benchmarks. This is bench. Ah, here we go. Benchmarks that don't show all of the cards. Okay, that's a very useful benchmark. It will show the cards in the um in the absolute top uh thingy top positions. Um, sixty nine fifty XT and then Guru three D. Yeah, we got Guru three D. My favorite site. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I used to be like, back in, in high school, I would read so much Guru 3D. Like, I was reading it basically, like, every single day. Uh, benchmarks. Review? Yes, that will work. Thank you. So this is the Sapphire card. Uh, okay. Cool, so let's go to Far Cry 6. I like Guru 3D because their charts have basically every card that matters, even down to cards that, like, are literally $1,500 cheaper. Um, okay, so 6950 XT sits, obviously, at the top, with MSI's variant being slightly faster. So this is faster than the 3090 Ti. Okay, um... It's faster than 3090 Ti by two frames in some situations. Other cases, it's on par. So, what does that mean for pricing? I'm sorry. Does it say 3090 Ti? Hold up. I need to check this. 3090 Ti. Okay. Oh my god. If you can buy one of these... Like, they're in stock in Australia. I don't know if they're in stock anywhere else. You can save $1,800. 
What? <laughs> I have to check if they're in stock in the US. I have to check this. This... No way these are in stock. Um... 6950XT. Oi, just show me the fucking thing I typed. There we go. They are kind of... Okay, they are... There's... They're a lot less in stock than Australia. There's this one card here from Azrock. Um, so you are going to have a harder time buying it. Actually, what does the 3090 Ti go for in America? I just want to have a reference point. 3090 Ti. Yeah, okay. So assuming you can buy one, which right now one of them is in stock. Wait, no, this is back order. Oh, I take back what I said. Uh, none of them are in stock in the US. Okay. But assuming you can buy one, which if you back order at that price, they should charge you that price. It's literally half the price of the 3090 Ti for the same performance. That's fucking mental. Uh, okay. So let's go down the chart. Do we have the, the other 50 class cards in here? We don't. Okay, I take back what I said about Guru 3D's review being good. Um, okay, I'm going to find a review of one of the lower rent. Ah, okay, so they... Wait, what? Do they not have the other cards on the... Uh, this is a really weird chart because they actually did the, the low-end card first, but they don't have the low-end card on the graph. What? Uh, does this one have it? No. What? Okay, I'm going to have to open up multiple tabs here. Okay. Because Guru 3D is uh, making me... Uh, making me wrong about their be them being a good site. Okay, I take back what I said about Guru 3D being a good site. They actually have no idea what they're doing with this. <laughs> like, they could just... In this article right here, they could have put all of the numbers on the exact same chart. There was nothing stopping them doing that. But, whatever. Uh, let's close some of these tabs. Got too many open. I'm not one of those people who keep a thousand tabs open. I find I find it annoying. Okay, so this is okay. So this one is the sixty six fifty. Um, we already did the sixty nine fifty. So whatever, we, we'll open it anyway. Okay, so sixty seven fifty. Let's go to Far Cry six, just because that's what we we're using before. Um. And this one... Wait, that one is on there. Oh. Oh, this one has all of them. What? You guys were paying attention to the order those releases were in, right? So, first one was 6650. Second, 6750. And then 6950, 6750, and then 6950. But the 6750 has all of the numbers. But the other ones don't. Okay. Okay, sure. So, the 6750 is faster than... What? <laughs> Wait. The 6750 XT is faster than the 6900? Is AMD cannibalizing their own GPU stack? <laughs> what? What? Oh, wait, no, that's... No, that is 69. Yeah, I thought, like, there was a non-XT variant. I am very confused right now. What? Okay. There's only one of these cards anyway. So, can't buy it in Australia. I keep forgetting this is in alphabetical order. <laughs> okay, 69 $900. Uh, we have one, one of them is in stock at 900. Okay. So it outperf- Am I dumb? Can I not read a graph? It outperforms the 6900, but is lower in the product skew. Shouldn't it be here? 
Shouldn't it between the, uh, be between the 68... Uh, the 6800 XT and the 6700 XT. <clears throat> like, that's where I would think it would, like, should be going. Why is it here? Surely it's not because it's just overclocked. Like, surely you don't get an extra 10 FPS from overclocking. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, sure. Um, and then the 6650 XT. Okay, this one is below the 6700 XT, which makes sense. But it's above a th it's above a 3070 Ti and equivalent with a 3080 Ti. What? For reference, the base 6700 uh, 67 6600 XT, sorry, is here, which is under the 2080 Ti. What the Fuck. Okay, so <clears throat> this card, this card is effectively, and in stock, and you can get a pink one, which is cool, and I kind of want it. This card is in stock at $650 and outperforms... Uh, where's the 2080 Ti? Where the fuck's the 2080 Ti on this list? What? Okay, what card is on the list that I can... Uh... <clears throat> Outperf... Oh, equivalently performs... It will check other games, but equivalently performs, uh, this card... Right here. For $2,000. It's literally a third of the price. <laughs> what? Do I have to buy one? Do, do I just buy do I just buy a 6650 uh, 60, XT? What are these numbers? Like I if it was just a paper launch and you couldn't buy the cards, like sure, whatever, no one would care. But the fact that they are for sale. Um Wait, now it's way down here. What? Is this game just really weird? Wait, uh... Is this game just really weird? Uh, cause that... Yeah, no, so on this game at full... Oh! Okay! Okay, so the performance massively drops off if you go above 1080p. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So this is 1440. I don't play above 1080p anyway, so I don't really care. <clears throat> so at 1440, it drops way down to the 2080. Okay. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Because it only has an 8 gig um, frame buffer. Um, Let's go to Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Let's see what happens here. So the frame buffer is probably what's going to hold it back then. Are you gonna you gonna load up the thing that I went to, or are you not gonna do that? Uh, you're not gonna go to it. Okay, cool. Witcher Three Wild Hunt. Show me the money. Either way, that's fucking incredible. So this is 1080p. Uh, 6650 XT. I should just go and open up the... Yeah, we'll go and open the article specifically on that card just so we can see it easier. Um, so, which three Wild Hunt? Let's see. So, yeah, here we go. Here, it's performing like a 1080 Ti. Interesting. Okay. That makes a lot more sense then. Okay, so games with a frame buffer is a lot more, um, yeah, and also in this game, the, actually, we're up to 69.5, either way, it's still a fucking crazy card. The fact that in, even in some games, it can compete with a 3080 Ti, um, even if it's not as crazy as I thought it was. Um, here we go. Let's go to the review section. Uh, 
Okay, maybe I'm not gonna buy one. But, even so... Uh... What are we on? We're on Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So... This perform... Okay. But if you are going top end... If you are going top end, the 6950 XT crushes the 3090 Ti, and it's literally half the price. So maybe that... <coughs> if you're going for, like, the top end... Um, if you're at the top end, yeah, maybe, maybe it makes sense then. Or if you just need a new card. Yeah, it's, it's half the price and, and seems to perform basically as good within a couple of frames on most tests. Uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is an exception though. It's 20 frames lower, but would you be willing to save close to $2,000 for 20 frames? Because I know that I would. Like, I don't really mind if my game at fucking 4K is running at 111 FPS. I'm fine with that. Maybe you're not, but I am. Um, what does the 6650 do at 4K, actually? Probably terribly. <laughs> 48 on Ultra. Wow. That's crazy. That's that's crazy impressive for a low-end card. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the frame buffer really holds it back here. If this had a 16 gig frame buffer, it would be up here. <laughs> like, it would just break the stack. Uh, it would yeah, it'd probably be like just behind like the 6750 or something like that. Uh, let's go to... You know what? Let's... let's... Really challenge it and try it with ray tracing. Yeah, it does shit. <laughs> of course it does shit. It does worse than the 3050. But. But. It does do better than the 6600 XT. Let's see where a 3050 sits, actually. What does that actually sit in pricing? Uh, a little lower. But, granted, ray tracing is an NVIDIA thing. And I don't give a shit about ray tracing. So, yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. I just don't care about ray tracing. Um, let's see. Uh, so, ignoring the ray tracing stuff then. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No, not Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That's not the one I meant to click. Uh, Valhalla. <laughs> let's see then. Uh, just below the 3070 Ti. Okay. Just below 3060 Ti. And just below 2080. Yeah, the higher the, the, uh, the, fr the, um, the higher the resolution you go, the more it suffers. It really, really suffers from that frame buffer. And 8 gigs is a big frame buffer. It's just, you know... Small relative to what is expected on the absolute top end nowadays. Um, I wonder if the 6750 holds that better. So this is just below 6800, which is where it should be. Then it's just below... Okay, so this one seems to hold its position a lot better. Until the third test where it drops below... Uh, drops down to a 2080. Okay. So, if you are looking for 4K gaming and you don't want to go, you know, absolutely mental. Yeah, this get at Ultra, 4K, um, 6750 does it. This is probably like your, your mid-range, um, 4K card. I think if you did 4K with this, then you'd be fine. Maybe in a, um... <laughs> For much newer games, though, you probably have a problem. But if you then drop back down to 1440, you seem like you'd basically be good. Um, <clears throat> but if you're at 1080p, uh, this card is a god. Like, this card is genuinely a god and performs so much better than you would think. Because a lot of the high-end cards, what they really, really perform well for is is, like, the higher-end stuff. Like, at 1080p, because the frame buffer is no longer an issue, everything just does really well. 
<laughs> and you can have a fucking seven hundred dollar card or whatever it was. What was it? Was it eight hundred? Seven hundred dollar card. Yeah, seven hundred dollar card performing like a two thousand dollar card. Anyway, I want to check other pricing. Um so uh and also availability. Sixty seven fifty XT. So you are not able to buy this one by looks Oh, you can buy one of them. Okay, you can buy one sixty seven fifty XT. Okay. And <clears throat> sixty six fifty XT and your you can buy one. Okay, you can buy one. You can buy two. You can buy the pink one. Okay. This is a stupid looking card. <laughs> this is such a stupid looking card, but I kinda want one. <laughs>